welcome to an absolutely beautiful day for a bush walk. Today I'm going to be walking from Gosford to Lizaro through the Katandra and Rumbalara reserves. Um, it's a little bit over 11 kilometers. And um, one of the great things about this walk is that you can access it through public transport. So I'm driving the car to Lizaro station, uh, catching the train at Gosford and then walking back to the car. Um, the downside of that is that there is a bit of road walking at both ends, uh, about a kilometre from Gosford Station to the track head. Um, but you go through the, the township with the cafe, so I'll pick up a coffee on the way. And at the end of it, you do walk through a fairly rural setting, so um, it's not unpleasant to do. Um, so we'll get out there today. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'll show you what it's like. So I'm now at the Rumbalara Reserve. Um, we've got toilets over here in this direction. Um, and so we'll go there and then we can start the track which goes up the hill behind me. Up the first steps and turn right. Coming up to the top of the steps here, we're gonna go left. Uh, keep going on the Casarina track to the picnic areas and to Katanja Reserve. And so we head up the hill. More steps ahead. This is probably the hardest part of the trail actually, getting up onto the ridge. And then it's just kind of undulating, more or less. At the top of the stairs, we have a well placed seat and have a look at the view. So, this is our turn off at the flannel flower track. We're a bit early in the season for flannel flowers, but very beautiful when they're out. This bit can be a little bit confusing as the track comes down the hill here and then as we keep going down it actually opens up into two tracks here um, so I'm going up the hill sometimes it's nice just to stand and listen Beautiful. So when you come up the top of the pathway there, you just turn to the right, head along and have a look at the lookout. The views on this walk and this part of the walk are definitely what you come for. From the lookout, we come down the road, cross over and go down this pathway here. We come to a bit of a fork in the track here and we go right and head up the hill. and left turn from here.
try not to let this guy scare you. He appears suddenly as you walk past this grass tree here. His name is Edward John Eyre, and he was one of the early settlers, I guess, European settlers in this area. Branch off to the right and go up this hill. Again, we head off to the right, a narrow track up the hill. Up we go again. And again, we head off to the right. Now we've now made it up to this high point, which is the air in the tree. down a gravel road for a little while but now here's our sign back into the bush proper. And this intersection for the Graves Walk we continue straight across and down here. Here we are at the picnic area. So I've had a nice refreshing cup of tea, a bite to eat, and now I'm going to go over and have a look at St John's Lookout. that I finished up there at the picnic area and uh, at the lookout. Um, that's the end of the bush track part. It's now road walking, some of it on the tar, some of it through uh, dirt roads, um, back to the railway station. So, knocked down that steep hill. We keep going straight down the road past this no through road sign. So we've come up the hill a little bit, past that gate down there, and here, just a little footpad trail, and that's where we're going, in there. Get to the bottom and turn left, along here. So we've finished on the bush track now. We've popped back out onto a tarred road, and as we go down here, it's still very rural at the moment, but we're gradually going to get into more and more of the residential sections of uh, the back of Lissero. So I just wanted to say um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen of the walk today. I hope you get to enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.